Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Kathleen Hart here. So today I'm gonna be doing the intro to a vlog that I'm gonna be doing over this weekend and it's gonna be my yard sale vlog. So I don't know if anybody else has this issue, but when I was pregnant with my son, I literally had like a baby shower and then everyone in my family was just super excited that we were having a new baby. It was my first baby. So like we kind of went a little YOLO with the clothes and I'm looking around right now because it's all on my dining room table for the yard sale. Because if you didn't know, I have a 19 month old son named Austin and I'm pregnant right now, due in March with a baby girl. So we won't need a lot of these clothes because they're all like boy clothes. So we're having a town-wide yard sale in my development and I was like, you know what, this is a great opportunity to kind of clean out all of the bins that I've been accumulating in our spare bedroom, which is going to be the girl's nursery and, you know, make a little bit of money, not gonna, not gonna make myself rich with this, but maybe help other people who are looking for yard sale finds because I know when I was little we used to go to yard sales all the time and I loved like finding that like board game that I wanted for like a dollar or something like that. So I'm hoping that by doing this, maybe some mom out there who's just like looking for some nice, gently worn clothes, some not even worn. I literally washed them and he never wore them. That's how many clothes he had. It's just he couldn't wear them. And it, this is almost embarrassing. My husband got mad at me because I was sorting everything last night by size so that when I put it out for the yard sale, it was really easy for people to see like what size and like all the onesies. I'll show you in a second, but my husband was getting mad at me because he's like, this is disgusting. And I'm like, I agree. I totally agree. I'm like, but now maybe we can pass it along. So anything that doesn't sell at the yard sale, I'm just going to be donating. I was going to donate it. Don't, don't come for me. I was going to donate it 100%. And then they posted on my um, neighborhood Facebook page that there was going to be a yard sale. And I'm like, you can't beat it. Let me just try. Let me just try to see if these people coming to this yard sale want any of it. I'm going to be pricing it really cheap, trying to get rid of it. And then anything else I'm going to be donating. So I'm going to show you the table. <laughs> Don't judge me. By the way, I have learned a lesson. I've learned a big lesson. Well, first off, I'm not having another baby shower. Baby shower is where I got majority of a lot of these clothes. And this time, for my daughter, I'm not going to be doing a baby shower. I already decided that. And that being said, I think we have the buying and spending under control for this baby. So, uh, I haven't bought a ton. My mom has bought some, my sister has bought some. You saw my last video, that cute little Minnie Mouse outfit. Some stuff, you just you just can't. But I remember with my first pregnancy, like every time my mom would come over, there'd be bags and bags and bags, and it was so exciting and so fun. But realistically, you literally can't use all the clothes because the baby just grows way too fast. Especially the clothes for like newborn and like zero to three months. I don't even know why we bought those clothes, you know? <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna show you the table and I'm gonna bring you along for the yard sale and I'll show you how it goes and just bring you along for the process and I hope you like this vlog. If you like vlogs, give me a thumbs up. If you guys like watching me, great, give me another thumbs up. <laughs> and also subscribe if you're new. I'm making mommy videos. I'm just making content that I like to watch from other moms. So I hope that this is something that maybe you like to watch. So join me along for the ride and let me show you all these clothes it's pretty insane remember don't judge me this is the no judgment zone coming coming right now no judgment zone okay so this is currently the situation on my dining room table and it might not look like a lot or maybe it does I don't know but these piles are ridiculous so like these are all six month onesies there's absolutely no way that he would ever be able to wear all of these it's literally insane so we were prepping for the yard sale. I'm thinking, I haven't set up the pricing yet, but I know it's gonna be low, low, low because I just would rather have it go. I just want people to take it. And honestly, there's, I went through every single piece of clothing on this table. There's nothing that is like stained or anything. This is all like literally brand new condition. Like just for instance, like he never even wore these pants. My husband bought these for him. He never even got to wear them. We just didn't have anywhere for him to wear them. And then he grew out of them before, before our eyes. So 
this is everything and like I said we will see you again for the art sale I'm also selling a bunch of like my clothes and some other things that we have around the house just to kind of get rid of it and see if anybody else could use it before we either throw it away or donate it Why, Gada? are we gonna sell you with the art sale no we would never okay so we're pretty much set up I finally got my dining room table cleared and now it's all about waiting for the people to come so i'll show you what i have set up we'll see how we go pray for a good outcome so i actually ran out of space on the blankets so we're tupper wearing some of it but i wanted to keep it by size you guys this is sick we have like a pack and play one of those hiker things so we'll see I'm really hoping this stuff all gets sold. <laughs> okay, so I would say we made a pretty decent dent. That's what's left. We got rid of most of the stuff that was over here. And also too, a woman came through and she was telling me that there's a like consignment thrift shop and I can take the pants that I have because they're name brand pants and I can bring them there and they will give you a third of whatever they're going to list them for. And they could go for like $25 to $35. So that's $10 a pair of pants. I had them for sale for $3. So we're definitely going to be doing that. It's only about 20 minutes away from my house. Sorry about the lighting. I'm like in the garage, out of the garage. So we're going to try to do that. But otherwise I would say it's a successful day. Okay, so now we've condensed everything to that bin and this bin. And everything's pretty organized. So that is good. My clothes I still have to pack up and all this other random stuff, but we did sell a lot of stuff. Okay, so I'm here to report back that the day was a success. It was a lot of work. So if you're planning on doing a yard sale or something and you've never done it before, like myself, it was a lot of work, especially for being pregnant. So it was definitely a lot of work. The big bin of clothes that I had left, someone came literally as I was bringing it into the garage, went through it, told me that her friend was just about to bring home a three month old foster child and she was like ecstatic to get these clothes. So I told her, I was like, well, whatever you want, they're a quarter a piece. That's what we were doing the clothes for, for, for the baby clothes. And she was like pulling them out of this huge bin. And she was like, okay, I want all of it. So I gave her the entire bin for 20 bucks. And I'm so happy about it because it was just gonna get donated anyway. And the fact that it went to someone who's gonna be doing something so good for someone else, that's just awesome for me. Cool. How much is it? I have no idea. My husband wants to buy stuff from the neighbors. Okay, so I just wanted to do some real talk real quick. I'm feeling a little empty inside <laughs> after this yard sale. And I don't know if anybody like talks about this, but like I feel not regret, but almost like it's hard for me to get rid of stuff. I've gotten better over the years, but I feel like even when I was little, like it was really hard for me to get rid of anything. This feeling is like creeping back up on me. It's not like an anxious feeling. It's just like, it's a feeling I know I'm going to get over and I'll be fine, obviously. But like just getting rid of so many things, especially baby things all at one time is a little like overwhelming for me. I don't know. I wanted to just come on here and just talk real because I feel like before... When even when I was doing like the closing that I just did, I was like, you know, pumped up and everything. But then in the back of my mind, I was like thinking these thoughts. And I was like, why am I not sharing this? Because I'm sure other people like feel like this sometimes. Whenever I donate things or whenever I um, like give stuff away, sometimes I like remember like one stupid piece of clothing that I was like saving for no reason. And it was sitting in my closet and I knew I was never gonna wear it again, but for some reason, like I felt bad about getting rid of it. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. To be honest, I blame Toy Story because I feel like that movie makes everybody think everything has feelings. It's so dumb. I know it is, believe me. It's like 
terrible. But anyway, I just wanted to share how I was feeling. I'm sure I'll get over this. I'm sure it's fine. But just purging so much stuff at once, especially all those baby clothes, like all of the little baby clothes. There were certain things I kept, but majority is gone. So I just have to focus on the fact that it's going somewhere to like a good home and people are going to be using it and it's not just going to be sitting in a bin in a room upstairs in my house. So there, that makes me feel better already, just focusing on that. So if anybody's going through this, if you donate stuff, if you're having second thoughts, just think about the positive, about where it's going and that someone is going to be getting value and use out of your things that you're not going to be using anymore. So thanks for being there for me and talking me through this. <laughs> because now I feel a little bit better but I just wanted to come on and share real life real feelings and just you know this is life so you're gonna get all the thoughts even if you don't want them from me you're gonna get them but anyway thanks for coming along with me during my yard sale extravaganza it was definitely a lot of work but totally worth it oh and I wanted to tell you so I made a little over a hundred dollars I believe it was like a hundred and fifteen dollars that we made and we got rid of a lot of stuff so like I said I'm gonna be taking my jeans to that thrift store or the um what do they call it it's like gently used clothing store so I'm gonna be taking that there I was gonna go now but it's too late it's already they're already closing soon so instead I'm gonna wait and go next weekend but everything all folded up and nice so I'll let you know how that goes if you guys are interested, but I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you like like vlog videos where like I show you just randomly what I'm doing, because we're always doing something completely random. <laughs> like we've never done a yard sale before. We did a yard sale today. So if you guys like those kind of videos, make sure you're subscribed. There's a lot more fun stuff coming on this channel, but don't worry, I will see you guys really soon with a new video. Bye.